Hi and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today I'm going to explain to you why subtractive synthesis is called that. Coming up. Before I start, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell button. It would really help us grow this channel. Thank you. All right, so let me explain a little bit. When you hear people talk about analog synthesizers, more often than not, they are referring to subtractive synthesis, which means taking a pure sound coming out of an oscillator and removing things from it, subtracting things from it. Let me explain. Let's start from a very simple sound. I will select a sawtooth right here. This is pretty straightforward, it's a very simple sound. Maybe I may pair it with a second oscillator and uh, I select uh, sawtooth again and then I can detune them right here. So basically here we got the pure sound of the oscillator. When we apply a filter to it, we subtract information from that, um, in this case, pair of oscillators. Check out. You see? Basically, this is a filter that progressively removes the high frequencies and, and goes all the way down until only the low end is left. I can do some more. I can decide the resonance of uh, that filter, which means how much the sound will resonate with itself. So let me show you. Right? So if I keep it all the way down, it's a very gentle filter. But as I pull up the resonance, now we get some ringing across it to the point where the filter starts self-resonating. Let me pull that down a little bit. So basically we get a little bit of resonance to it, but still we are removing information from the oscillator sound. Let me give you another example, right? ADSR, Attack Decay Sustain and Release, if you haven't watched the video about it, Click again on the description. I can decide how loud this should be, right? So I'm making it louder or quieter in its sustain. So in other words, I'm, you know, I'm turning the volume down. So again, I'm taking out information from that oscillator sound. I can decide to have a little bit of decay so that it goes like this, right? Or a little bit of attack. Right? Or maybe a bit of sustain as well and a bit of release. So this is how uh, subtractive synthesis is different from, say, addictive synthesis or FM synthesis where you have uh, different oscillators and they go in combination to one another and they create new sounds. This is purely removing stuff. And that's how the cookie crumbles. So I hope you found this video useful. You can check out our other videos about synthesizers in the link in the description. Share this one if you liked it, and uh, I'll see you next time.